My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey, we've got a great little Chevelle for you right here. It checks all the boxes. Been body off frame restored. Got a real potent 327 motor under the hood. There's also a vintage air system, power steering, power disc brakes, and that's a four speed I see sticking out of the hump in the floor. Go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and you will find the price tags on every one of our cars along with monthly payments. We do have financing available. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yep, the body was off of the frame. The whole chassis was prepped and uh, taken apart, painted. Uh, looks real good. Front end was all rebuilt. All the steering components, springs, bushings, ball joints. Uh, it does have two inch drop spindles, so it has that nice stance. Um, fuel system's new, the tank is actually still shiny, the straps, the sending unit, it's all been replaced. The brakes were rebuilt and it is upgraded with disc in front. Uh, the brake lines and the e-brake assembly look like they've been replaced. Uh, it's a great sounding, uh, great looking exhaust system, uh, dual exhaust with welded joints. Flowmaster mufflers, and it has the chrome tips coming all the way out the back. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean. Uh, it's got a T10 four speed in there. Drive shaft is rebuilt. Uh, 12 volt rear end with 355 gears. Uh, seems like I'm forgetting something, but underneath the car uh, is all real good. Oh, the underbody itself, all clean metal. The braces, the rockers, the floors. All real nice. Uh, the whole center section of the car is a nice gloss black. Uh, and of course, these new body bushings when they put the body back on the frame. But under the car is really good. Uh, the body seems to be excellent. It's absolutely straight. Uh, I was just looking it over before we started, eyeballing it and the roof, the hood, the trunk, the sides are all straight. Door shuts like a new car. Bottom of the door edges are clean. Uh, the hood fits nice and square and flush, all lines up real good. This fender is mint all along the bottom. There's no bubbles or rust issues. The body lines are right. Uh, it all looks really good. It's all super nice, complete new full quarter panels on both sides. There's zero rust. They're not patched, complete uh, panels. Bottom of the door, again, real nice. Door jams painted nice. The paint itself, beautiful midnight blue. <clears throat> Not obnoxious amount of metal flake, but it does have a good amount of metal flake. It has some real sparkle. Uh, it's laid out evenly. It's all one color. The finish has minor imperfections in the finish. There's a little dust, a little, what we call orange peel, little texture. Uh, so I'm going to say it's a really nice paint job. Most people would be thrilled. The top, you know, five fussy, uh, top five percent, uh, you know, will nitpick it. But the, the paint's gorgeous. Um, the store shuts real nice. It has bow tie mirrors on both sides. The handles, the mirrors, cross flag emblems, the SS emblems. It was all replaced. Uh, the rain gutter trim and moldings have been replaced. Looks like the chrome down the middle, the emblems, the front bumper, all replaced. The grill, uh, I'm sure, has been replaced too. There's no way that's original. It's in really nice shape. Has 15 inch Kreger wheels on there. They sparkle real nice. Windshield has been replaced. Uh, the weather strips, the rubber seals have been replaced. So yeah, really good looking car and it gets even better inside. Let's check it out. I wanted to mention the rear bumper, tail lights, and all the trim on the tail panel has been replaced as well. 
So you got a super clean trunk compartment, all nice clean metal. It's been spatter painted very neatly. Now the quarter panels are black. They're new uh, quarter panels, all clean metal. Uh, the back of the seat has a new insulation. There's a new weather strip. Looks like a new uh, latch mechanism. And it looks like the wiring harness is new as well. So again, a nice clean trunk. The jam and the bottom of the trunk lid are painted gloss blue like the car. And those 15 inch Kregers are a little wider in back with a little meatier tire. So inside is completely restored. You got new weather strips around the doors, uh, door jams. You can see the door panel, the armrest, the window crank handle, all that's been replaced. The metal trim is all painted real slick like the outside of the car. Uh, it's got a really cool set of uh, electronic analog gauges. Uh, and they light up blue if I can get the right key. Isn't that cool? Uh, this whole chrome instrument bezel is replaced. All the knobs are matching. It does have a retro stereo in the factory location. And there's an auxiliary plug that hangs down below. Uh, it has molded in kick panel speakers and 6x9 speakers in back. So it's got a stereo system. Uh, AC vents are neatly installed. And we've got a uh, new emblem on the glove box. Nice soft carpet in the floor. Got a Hearst shifter, Chevelle mats, seat belts in front. There's a polished tilt column with nice knobs and a real deluxe steering wheel. The seats have been rebuilt. I imagine they got new springs in them. They're nice and firm and plump. New cushions. The upholstery fits really nice and snug, nice and tight. The back seats reupholstered. The side panels, the armrest, all of it's replaced. The headliner, new, tight as a drum. Even the sail panels don't have wrinkles. Uh, the dome light, the visors, the mirror, all that's been replaced. Doesn't look like the dome light's working. So inside the car is actually really nice. Be hard to find uh, much wrong with the interior. It's all redone. Now the engine, it's a 327. The guy I bought it from claimed 450 plus horsepower. That's a pretty tall claim, but it is a strong running motor. I don't know what the true horsepower is, but it's got a, a, a cam in there. It's got aluminum heads, aluminum intake, a 650 a dual feed Holly carb with electric choke. Uh, it's got an Excel HEI ignition system, some coated headers, uh, tall valve covers. Nice Edelbrock uh, washable air filter. So the car runs cool with an aluminum water pump, uh, aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. We got chrome timing cover, chrome power steering, chrome one wire alternator. And the whole brake system is uh, power brakes are chrome plated. Has a new wiper motor. Also has the vintage air system uh, an optima battery with a disconnect when you put it in storage or park it you can disconnect the car very easily and then if you notice the whole engine bay and under the hood nice and clean painted gloss blue uh, like the outside now this is really good this is all good stuff i mean a four-speed air steering brakes uh, restored very nicely um, it's been driven some. This could use a little more polishing and detailing. If you were uh, going to open your lawn chair and sit at a car show all day, you could tidy this up a little bit more, dress it up maybe with a cover and some better hoses. Uh, but otherwise, everything looks like it's done really well. Uh, and again, has good stuff. Uh, just could be uh, detailed a little better.
I've always been a sucker for this color blue. I think it's just an amazing color. Again, nice, clean car, has all the features people want. Uh, there's no real money you'd have to put into this car. Again, just a little more detailing. Uh, it could really, really make it an outstanding piece, but it's pretty awesome just the way it sits. Go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression. Talk to the salesman about your questions and concerns. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get it financed. That's all at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're going to pull the carpets up.